morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Collie, um, one of the super towns of Western Australia. Um, my name is Richard Jackson. I'm the CEO of the Collie Chamber of Commerce. Uh, now, those of you who uh, may not be members of Chambers of Commerce, Chambers of Commerce have been around for about 500 years, so they must be doing something right. Uh, and the role of the Chamber of Commerce in any community is to represent the, the business groups, to lobby on their behalf, uh, and to hope, hopefully facilitate business in a town. Uh, I think in small towns like Collie, they also have a, a, an obligation and a role to play within the community to make sure that the community um, prospers uh, and grows. And part of the work that the Collie Chamber of Commerce do as a not-for-profit organisation is to make sure that any surpluses we make go back into our community. Uh, and, and that's what I see as, as, as Chambers of Commerce are about. Um, and the important thing is, Chambers of Commerce might have people like me running the day-to-day -day and, and Rebecca running me, um, but the, the actual executive are people who are part of that community. They live and they work uh, and, and they bring their families up in that community. So Chambers of Commerce have a very important part to play. Um, we're hosting this event uh, at the request of the Department of Commerce, the organising state government agency, um, and we acknowledge that the uh, funding for this event has been provided through the Royalties for Regions initiative. Uh, and Collie, as we all know, has been a, a beneficiary uh, of lots of um, Royalties for Region money, um, and the South West Development Commission is a, a valued tenant uh, of the Collie Chamber of Commerce. The purpose of the briefing is to inform regional small to medium-sized businesses about both state and Commonwealth Government assistance programmes that may be of interest to your business. The state and Commonwealth Government's approach to supporting regional small businesses to access opportunities on government purchasing and resource projects. One of the, one of the, the constant gripes that I, that I get from uh, small businesses is that they want to do business with the bigger organisations, they want to do business with government, but somehow or other they find it difficult. So part of the exercise today is to help small businesses to understand what they need to do to work with these big organisations. Because the big organisations have systems and processes, um, and whilst they may have all the will in the world to want to assist you in your small business, they have to follow those processes. And those processes may not be simple to follow, and that's why we're here today, to give you some information to help you, and that's why you have a Chamber of Commerce, because if you have difficulty in dealing with these large organisations, come to us and we'll help you guide, guide you through the steps to do business with that organisation. Um, there's a wide variety of speakers here today who will present for up to 10 minutes. Um, and anybody goes over that, um, I'm going to uh, sort them out. There's, there'll be a penalty of one sort or another. Um, there's there's a, a part of my brief here is Western Australia is enjoying a period of sustained economic growth. And I'm sure that we would all like to see local industry derive business benefits from this level of activity. Um, I, I'm not convinced that's totally right. I think that the state as a whole is doing very well. Um, there are some really long-term projects, you know, the, um, uh, the oil and gas projects that are out there. These are long-term projects. This is an unusual boom, but it tends to be focused in particular areas. Uh, and I know that small businesses in both Bunbury, Bustleton, Harvey, Collie are, are all feeling the squeeze. Um, and that's why one of the things that I do through the Chamber is to encourage people to buy locally. So if you have fly-in, fly-out workers, don't go spending your money up in Perth. Spend it in your local community because that will, that's what will keep your local community thriving. So once again, what today is about is about helping your businesses to grow and prosper and to enable them to um, get support in terms of business from the larger businesses around and also the larger organisations. Because I don't think there's, there's any politician in the room here will deny that government has an obligation to support local reg and regional communities. Um, I'd like to introduce our next speaker, Mr Joe Francis, MLA member for Jandicott.
Uh, parliamentary Secretary. <laughs>